So we're continuing work now in the hara, moving to the upper part of the hara, above the belly button here, actually continuing this clockwise motion with our fingertips, moving around. Now with my thumbs, I'm going to splay out, actually, all the way up to the bottom rib. Feel the bottom rib with your thumbs and use your that V between your index finger and your thumb to feel the bottom rib and work outward. Work your way down to the hips. This is a place where you can really get in touch with the person's breath <laughs> when she's not laughing. When, when respect is fully established here, you can even use your full weight for pressing in. She knows that nothing bad is going to come to her. I'm going to go on Sarah's side here and put one hand on top of the other hand and we're going to create a wave-like motion that's referred to as rocking the hara, believe it or not, rocking the hara. Does it feel okay? I can really feel her belly loosen up, actually, since I started this. It's gotten softer, which is good. It's, it's, we're so conscious in Western culture of having a strong abdominal area, but we should be soft down here. We can be, be strong in our, in our musculature but be loose in the diaphragm. You know, they always tell opera singers and anyone working on stage, they have to be relaxed in the diaphragm. Because if you're relaxed down there, you have full breath and you'll have a rich, deep voice without working very hard. And when you're relaxed in the diaphragm, it's pretty sure that you're relaxed all over. Okay, I think that does it for the hara, and then we'll move on to the legs.